Hello students. Now we will start with new topic that is about viruses. So, viruses are termed as acellular organisms. Are acellular. What do you mean by acellular? The organism which is having specific shape of the body. It is okay. But it is considered as alive only when it is present inside the host and it absorbs nutrients from the host and it will prepare its next generation that is virulence. When it is outside the host, only its genetic material is viable, means it is having little bit of life. But when that genetic material infects the host, enters into the host, either by breathing or entering into the lungs, etc., then again it forms its complete structure. So such organisms are not having specific shape outside the host. So they are called as acellular organisms or acellular forms. Acellular means the organisms that does not have specific shape of body when outside the host. Such organisms are termed as acellular organisms. Viruses are Obligate parasites. Parasites means the organisms which completely depend on the host for food material. Obligate means complete. Means purely. Completely they are dependent on the host. So called as obligate. If they are partially dependent <clears throat> then we use a term as facultative parasites but here viruses are obligate parasites means complete parasites when outside the host they are crystalline in form means they are some stony like some coarse granule like structures the term virus is given by Louis Pasteur. Next, he also used the term like poison. Virus is also termed as Poisonic fluid by again Louis Pasteur. Next, virus termed as contagium vivum fluidum. This term contagium vivum fluidum or contagious fluid is given by Dejernik. So the Dejernikia is considered as father of virology. Dejernikia These studies are under, studies are during 1898. Term virus is given by B. 
बीजर्निक बी बी आई बीजर्निकिया in some books it is given as louis pasteur but i am telling it is bijernike according to ncert this term was given when he is studying about tobacco mosaic virus when studied on tmv virus means tobacco mosaic virus in tobacco plant in 1898 year next means his complete studies are on tobacco mosaic virus regarding this so bijernikia is considered as father of virology father of virology viruses are considered as the smallest one but the smallest organism is mycoplasma not the virus so small crystalline form small crystalline forms are studied by stanley in 1938 we can say crystalline form i have used the term means viruses are crystallized by by stanley in 1938 year it is 35 not 38 35 next viruses are considered as uh, the uh, first smallest organism than bacteria initially that discovery was made by ivanovsky viruses are considered as smaller than bacteria by ivanovsky in the year 1892 in 1892 next viruses contain protein coat and dna or rna only all these two types of biomolecules are present in case of viruses protein coat also called as capsomes in tmv virus so the shape is polyhedral or geometric forms next we will see which virus has what type of genetic material in it single stranded dna containing virus example is parvo virus that infects dogs next double stranded dna virus t4 phage that infects e coli single stranded rna containing virus is polio virus next double stranded rna containing virus is rota virus it causes diarrhea like symptoms some viruses have both dna and rna those are leucovirus that is not in your syllabus still just uh, listen once and learn both 
DNA and RNA in leukovirus. Other examples of viruses are so viruses cause mumps, measles, influenza, herpes, AIDS in animals. In case of plants, it causes mosaic infections. In plants, viruses cause mosaic infections. How can we say that? For suppose if you take chilies, chili mosaic virus causes mosaic infection. Next, it causes, what are the symptoms? There will be rolling of leaf. There will be curling of leaf. Yellowing of veins. Dwarfing of the plant. So, symptoms will be curling and rolling of leaf. Next, dwarfing of the plant and yellowing of veins. So, these are few symptoms of mosaic infections caused to the plants. So, here if did we miss any of the point? Capsomis. This can also be called, called as also called as capsid. Also called as capsid. Crystalline form. Yes, Stanley. So, this is about viruses. Next is viroids. Sometimes small RNA fragments are only infectious to plants called as so, this RNA fragment called as viroids. So, what is meant by viroid means small RNA infectious fragment. So, these are discovered by Diner. Diner. Next, another term, prions. Sometimes, Protein coat or capsid of virus is infectious, called as prion. There is no genetic material that is infectious uh, in case of prions. Prion means only the protein coat. Prion. What does it do? It will change the formation of one particular protein uh, structures. It will uh, cause the abnormal folding of the proteins. Prions cause abnormal folding of proteins. Host proteins we can see. So it causes, so it leads to Jacob's disease or mad cow disease. Disease is the term that we use only when an organism is parasite to the host. Next about lichens. Lichens are symbiotic Organisms, symbiotic forms of algae plus fungi. Means one single organism like lichen 
has both algae and fungi means some cortex like structure algae some again some other tissue like structure fungi some other tissue like structure so we can call this as some tissues formed by fungi now this is for photosynthesis this is for means digestion uh, of absorption of nutrients from the dead organic matter so an algae has this type of forms algae cannot grow on polluted polluted nature or polluted places so all lichens are sorry lichens are cannot grow in polluted places these are nothing but symbiotic forms which includes both algae and fungi this is about biological classification this is about viroids prions lichens and also viruses